Billy Moore and Sir Jeff Hurst The Trevor Brookin and Billy Bones A Paolo Di Canio West Ham you know until We celebrate our victories We stick together in defeat We're proud of our history West Ham you know until More than just a podcast More Good afternoon, morning, or good evening. This is more than just a podcast. Podcast. Uh, season 13, episode 37. Wow. Wow. 37. And we've got a win in 2024. We knew we would. Well, did you? Well, yeah, we were just saying before we come on. When it's sort of like... Yeah, after you know the result. Of course you do. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> I would, if I was on the that last uh, on the last podcast, I'd have predicted a win. Because when oh, yeah. it oh. backs to the wall... You, you, it's you're wrong. Right. I still off. didn't think, right? Here's the stats, and I go on the stats. We'd never beaten um, Brentford in the league. Premier we, League. Premier League. Beat them yeah. in the league. Yeah. We've yeah. never beaten them at the London Stadium. No. So we've never beaten them in the Premier League. We've never beaten them at the London Stadium. No, they were a bit of our bogey team. And funny enough, one of I went with Finley last night, and one of his best friends who he plays football with is a Brentford um, season ticket holder. He's come into the game with us. He's in the way end, and he's been quite a few times before to the way end. He was in the upper last night. He's going. Brentford are so shit. You've got the three points. And we're going, no, West Ham are so shit. You've they were on a bad points. run, though. Yeah. And and we were both going, no, 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 we're worse than you. And he's going, no, 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 we're worse than you. And I go, but you've got Tony. And he goes, but this you've is got Pakatar. Yeah. And and we were just saying, look, we're not going to do the game. We should introduce. It's only me and Len tonight. Uh, Kenny Town Len, where are you? What are you doing? I'm doing a podcast here. I think people got the idea of that by yeah, now. They yeah, they should have got near. Yeah, so N- Nigel's working tonight. He he was obviously there at the game uh, yesterday. Len was supposed to be at the game, but um, the trains let him down. Yeah, uh, John wasn't and and he had no intentions of going to the game. And he's at the pub tonight, so it's just me and Len. Uh, we hope to do a second podcast that might have two or three of us tomorrow night, where we talk about the game when Nigel is not working. But anyway. Back to the story. So, um, when we turned up, um, and there were some empty seats, right? A lot of people going, oh, I thought you said it was sold out. Yes, all tickets were sold. But that doesn't mean just because you've got a ticket, you turn up. So, you know, Nigel, who goes with Charlie, Charlie didn't turn up. And lots of people put their tickets on Ticket Exchange and they didn't sell, right? Fair enough, right? People voted with their feet. It was a cold, dark night. Trains weren't running very well. There'd been a landslip or something somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if that's the one that affected you. But anyway, something happened. When we turned up, there was a dip- different atmosphere. And I think the um, the crowd was buoyed by the news that, you know, Pakatar was starting, even though uh, uh, a, a agent close to the player told us he was out for another two weeks. That's good news, right? People giving a go at me. That was good news, right? Great. Maybe they were trying to throw mind games with Brentford. Anyway, we just seemed, because Pakatar were playing, the light show, just oh. the atmosphere. I knew you'd say that. The light fear was good. It was a good light show. And do you know what? There is something about a game when you just hit the ground running in your score and that man bowing. And then obviously, look, we're not talking about the game tonight, but, you know, 2 nil up after six minutes. You're just going, yeah, this is our night, baby. This is our night. So, Well, I had the light show. Was it John Michel fucking Jar or football? And, and, and yeah, there was little things like Tim Stiden had shaved off his beard. So that was and like, I'll tell you, charm. I'll tell you what else boyed the crowd, knowing that fucking Moyes is leaving. Quite well, clearly. Or, or, judging, is or is he? Well, judging by what's that leak. I need to say that because I've got this, this clip of him after the... Um, just after full time, and he's he's in the dressing room talking to his player. But does he mention? Um... Yeah, I'm not leaving. No, stop it, you. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> the show goes on. <laughs> 
Imagine referencing David Moyes with Scorsese. Fucking hell, Sean, you don't know how to do it. I'm not leaving. He fucking is. Yeah, there you go. You heard it here first. He's going nowhere. My bet with Nick is still on. Yeah. Puppet or puppet. Wolf and... of Wall Street. Fucking Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> fucking hell. He he uh he did row back a little bit on the, I've been offered a, you know, it's my decision to wait to the end of the season because we all know it's not his decision. They've all agreed to wait to the end of the season. And do you know what I said to Nick? You haven't won the bet. I haven't won the bet. Let's wait to the end of the season, see where we are in Europe. Let's see where we are. One game, yeah. Let's not let's not go over the top. Let's see how it goes, right? No one knows. Everything is speculation. He hasn't thrown in the towel. He sort of rode back from his contract position. He also sort of said, look, I love it here. I love it here. I I, I, I like being here. The board like me. I like the board. Didn't talk about the fans, obviously. No, you know they don't what? like us. It's, it's, a, it's a week for not putting Moyes in and Moyes out, right? It's, it's a time to celebrate a win. Let's just be friends for tonight, Len, and not talk about oh, Well, that's Boyce. down to you. you know, you, yeah, well, you're not right. going to win that much fucking friends by that. No. Nah. 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 Anyway. Absolutely not. Um, what we, what, so what we said tonight, instead of talking about the game, and we are filling a little bit, because uh, I've only just put the, the question up. Is We're like a we, fucking pie factory we, you can fill so well. We, uh, we will do a, a question time. Now, I'm hoping, let's have a look. Um, have a look, see if we've got any questions yet. Have we got any it'll questions? Flow, yet? It'll flow. Let's have a quick check. Oh yeah, they're flooding in. Oh, so we can we can do um Should we, we can start question time. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Yeah, let's it's, let's do it. Go on, let's do it. Say press right. the button, Sean. Press the button, Sean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, baby. It's Facebook, Twitter, question time, where you, the eight or nine listeners, get to ask us, the two presenters, Len and Sean, questions. Or I said, actually, tell us what's on your mind. Yeah. And have they? We should both do it. They have. They're coming in. We've got four comments already. All right. Not the first ten minutes. You know, we'll start. You know, we linger a bit, a bit branding and cigars, you know, not right. literally. You know, cause Are you question master? Not with your 100. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. How many days left of your 100 day coffee got? You've been counting down. Well, do you know what? So it started on Christmas Eve. Right. Um, so I, I, there's a little website saying days since, right? Right. I, I could work this out because it's a week plus. So it should be. What are we on? So it's, it's only been about 60-something days, isn't it? Days. Uh, right. This is not a very exciting yeah. podcast. Days tints the 24th of December. How many do you reckon? Well, it's got a lot better, by the way. Good. 65 days. There you Technically, go. Technically, I've got 35 days yeah. to go. Yeah. Alan Kerber, she went to see some doctor to find out how long he had to live in days. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Which music, a real though. one. Oh yeah, Harley Street. Yeah. Sam Kerbishly. Yeah, but but David Gold once told me, uh, not long before he died, that he was going to live forever, and his doctor had told him. I don't know if you knew, but he he, he ate blueberries, and he he ate a lot of um, uh, cranberry superfoods. cranberry juice. So he, yeah, superfood. Right. So he had cranberry juice and blueberries, and his doctor had told him that he was going to live well into his nineties. Well. And he went Not to the Harley first Street time and he was he said, oh, my doctor it. tells me I'm in a great film of health. And I go, oh, you're not looking uh, very well, DG. He went, no, 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 no. Rumours of my death are greatly exaggerated. And mm. Like a few months later. As were rumours of the fucking new grand. But anyway. Anyway. So I'll get going. Yeah, you said we going. weren't going to fall out, and you brought, yeah. brought up an old bloke who's not even here anymore <laughs> just to fucking wind me up. <laughs> right. On, away you go. Right. Let's start off. First up. Everybody's favourite sellout, Mick Clifford. And whoa, before whoa, we whoa, ask, whoa, 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 whoa! I well, like Mick. Where, where I like Mick as well. Him? But I need to. But before I ask his question, that I'd like to ask Mick a question. Cool. I wonder, maybe you know. Maybe he told you. Uh, I wonder how his book sales went over Christmas, and whether it was worth fraternising with the club. 
Well, it probably wasn't. I mean, you, you and I know West Ham's sales of books are really low. You you, you do it as a vanity project and not as a money-making project, uh, a West Ham uh, book. We phrase that. Not vanity project, a passion project, surely. Mm. You can't say Mick has oh, never... Talking of sellouts, yeah. Uh, a certain person sent me his... Um, <laughs> Sent his his uh, portrait you did for him. That's right. <laughs> I like it. Well, well done. Good. Do you want to say who you did a portrait for? It was your mate Hugh. It was Hughie Sutton. Uh, it's, it's he not, want as... he wanted he wants to live it to the family and something to remember him. About. Oh, there you go. So yeah, well done. I thought you captured him really well. So, well it's, uh... it's actually is an artist. It's nice to paint old men. Is it? Oh yeah. Yeah. You got his teeth out and... Uh... Yeah, I didn't really want to do the teeth, but it was such a good photo and it was already all nicely poised and then he's put pie out on Oh, that that was a real... That was a photo, was it? I haven't seen the original. Yeah, he sent he me sent a photo and I thought... So, yeah, because I, I got a white frame anyway and everything, it was quite a light a light portrait. And, of course, being an old man, you can get... It, what you want as an artist is lots of creases and stuff. Oh. Women are a little bit more difficult... So they don't like have creases. A, no, you don't want the heavy strokes with a woman, really. No, they like to be. In all anyway, times. well done. I, he, he was delighted with it. He uh, he sent me a picture of it. Didn't yeah, he? it's good. I'm pleased he's happy with it. Good. Yeah, it's decent painting. Hopefully, he told, hopefully he gave you feedback as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he loves yeah. it. But he oh, said you were a nice bloke. Well, I am, and I. Yeah, I, know. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, he said, he's a really nice bloke. That I uh, spoke to him before. Then, and I said, yeah, he is, actually. He said, very talented, and he's a nice bloke. I said, yeah. Well, there you go. Two things in one, don't you? Yeah. And I went and ruined it by calling him a sellout. <laughs> I know. But I'm only, I'm only interested because I, I know, I think myself, that what we're fucking doing. So, Mick, if you're listening, let us know well, in hindsight. Know, I, I take the blame. He, look, let me tell you the proper story. I right? know what happened. What's the story, then? Well, he's... His uh, publisher... Yeah, his publisher said, asked him, I've got to ask. And he asked me a favour. I asked the favour. And he wasn't expecting to get anything. And I said, you've got to use my name and tell um, Gavin, you know, that I said to do it and everything. Gavin's, Gavin, for for an Arsenal fan, is a, he's a good lad. He's a good lad. Is that the head of retail? Yeah. yeah. Used to be the head of ticketing. And retail. Of course, those two yeah. things go together. Tell you and what. Gavin's it, been around for quite a few years. He missed the trick not stocking him start, uh, them uh, uh, Prague canvases. Yes. yes. Did you ask uh, him then? Good Chris. No. Uh, yeah. Someone there who's uh, a friend of mine who works at the club, or friend of ours that works at the club. Oh, yeah, yeah. No names mentioned. Yeah, yeah. He asked them out of curiosity. But, uh, well, next time, let me talk to Gavin for you. Well, you'd only be wasting your time. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Not, not with Gavin. Gavin has some autonomy. Well, I couldn't care less. I can say, I can look. Gavin I need... has some autonomy to do what he wants. He doesn't have to go and ask anyone. I don't need the club to sell me stuff. And I'm not no, having no. a dig at Mick. But I am having a dig at his um, um, publisher. If if you're a publisher and you have to piggyback on someone else, you're not a fucking good publisher, are you? Yeah. And like me, if, you know... Actually... While we're while we're sort of filling pies, yeah, we sorry, are filling times. Yeah, that I, I notice, and I'm quite enjoying the fucking the stick that Rob Pritchard's getting for his um for his interviews that you you keep uh, that you kind of rub him up the wrong way, not rub Ooh. him up the wrong way, Ooh. but Pritchard because he blocked you. Well, no, Pritchard. Look, I I, I want to say right. He's doing his job. I know he got a bit of grief. Ah, oh, oh, this is funny. On. You should say that's a Hang good on. response. Go He's on. doing his job, right? And obviously, you have to be a bit of sicker fan to, to. Oh, you do well. But look, whatever my differences with Rob Pritchard, if you listen to the whole interview, he's very emotional about his dad dying last week, right? I think who is Rob Pritchard, and he talks about his dad dying and who does and Rob Pritchard on on the interview. So his dad passed away last week. How did he get that into the interview? Well, you'd have to watch the interview to watch it. But what would I watch him for? Here's the geezer who said to me... Hang that... on, hang on. Let's put the human thing on it before you say anything. Pritchard's... Uh, Rob's dad died and he always used to say, tell Mr Moyes, well done from me. 
And what was he know, a West Ham fan? Then? Well, maybe, maybe. I don't say that. Why did he come and be a be a Spurs fan then? Well, look. What? You don't want to talk about it. I don't I can tell. really want to talk yeah, about yeah. it. I mean, look, this, you got this... your tongue ready for something. There's need some licking, right? No, no, no. Uh, look, you, Rob, well, Rob, you've gone. Rob you've don't gone like. from. You Rob need don't to... like me. <laughs> Rob's blocked me, but he's grieving at the moment. Let's let the guy grieve, all right? Let's let the you've, guy grieve. Look, you tweeted it out. You let everyone know it's him doing the interview, and he gets the shit from the fucking interview. Yeah, I know. Well, where was the sympathy when there was fucking lockdown? And he says, you know, oh, I want to give uh, um, the chance to for some up and coming artists. No, not up and coming, lower profile artists. Well, all I'm saying is, why well, don't he give the chance to some low profile interviewees? Seeing people like you giving them all the stick. Yeah, right. I don't anyway. know. I'm, you know, I'm straight as a die show, and I'm not like you. I'm not. Oh, you know, this, that, and the other. Anyway. Anyway, we, anywho, uh, we, back we, to mixed we, anywho, we were nearly started. Um, we nearly started question time. Yeah, I know. All right, we're back with mixed, mixed question. But don't forget, Mick, to let us know if it was worth it. Evening, lads. Is there an anti moist feeling about visiting the London Stadium? Is it more or less than before or just non existent? Do you want to answer that, Sean? Well, I Did didn't see any last night. No, no banners. No anti moise no booze. Obviously, we had a really good game last night. But yeah, I didn't when do you talk to when you talk to people there? Are they a little bit anti moise No. Do you know what? I don't actually think not, not in my section. I don't know about your section up there, but in our section in one one two, I can't remember the last time someone said something about the manager. In fact, often they go out their way to go. I don't understand. I think that's you know someone said to me. About the away game, I think that's really disrespectful to hold up that banner and to oh, hold this. Look, I'm just saying what they're saying, right? You oh yeah, all right. Question, but right? I heard, I heard this old. Um, what's it? I didn't listen to the interview, but I saw the headline about um, Jeff Stelling saying it. But what people don't understand is it's a message to the fucking board. It's not yeah, a message yeah. to Moy. So why if don't you, you do that message to the board then? Well, we. Uh, because we need to tell the we need to tell your mate what to think because he don't think right. for himself. Okay. Well, well enough, we 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 build enough to get eight questions now. So away you go with Mick's um, second part of the question. All right, Sean, this is for you. This one, yeah. Of course, going back to Moyes, if you played football like I did last night, we won't be Moyes out. No, we'd be yeah, cool, true. You know. true. Sean, youth players' contracts. How is yeah. it looking, read really the youngsters? Any update on Ben Johnson's improved offer? Well, Ben Johnson's agents have turned down another offer after the uh, transfer window opened. We're going to make him another offer um, in the next two weeks. But obviously, he's running it down. Now, the the problem is, here's a guy, you know, Ben Johnson, has proved he can be a useful player. He's homegrown, so he's useful to us. We <coughs> Maybe he's not getting as much for first-team match as he hoped, but he can show he's, he's a corporate sport player. My concern is, you know, you. All right, so we 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 need to offer him something that is comparable and incentivized, and don't disrespect him as a first team player, right? A Premier League first team player, right? Right. So sixty thousand has been mentioned, and I haven't got a particular problem if if we pay him sixty thousand. However, I think there is this problem with agents where they can earn much more money to start again and roll over to sell him to another club as a free yeah. agent. There's a signing on fee. They can get a bigger agent fee. And I sometimes think they badly advise players. Now, I hope Ben is not one of those and says, look, my future probably can be fulfilled better at West Ham than it can somewhere else. Look at Ngakia. Look at... Um, who was the guy who went to West Brom? Um... Why did you ask a name? Um, oh, what? In, Inang, not Inang. Um, no, Diang. Um, Digana. Yeah, Diang. Yeah, Digana. Yeah, Digana. Um, do you think a uh, change of manager might make a difference? It could do. Um, as for, I mean, we did sign up one player. Who was the guy who went out on loan and signed a new contract? You'd know, Sean. You're the in the know. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he Who's signed he a contract and went out. Um, the young striker. Oh, Callum Marshall. Callum Marshall, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm 
Must have missed that news. I didn't know when out on loan. Yeah, no, he, he uh, signed a new contract. And That's because I don't listen out to you. Loan. Yeah. And he, anyway, Mick Clifford says Brady out and every other cunt out. See? Well, that's a bit rude. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? And all the nice things you said about him. Yeah, I know. Great listeners always. Well, yeah, I'd uh, reserve judgment on that, Mick. You wait till you wait till you listen to it back. Right. Can you, another... you hear drilling in the background? I don't know if my microphone's picking up, but my neighbours th- suddenly decided to start drilling at. Uh, I thought you lived in the detached house. Huh? I thought you lived in the detached house. No, no, Shireen lives in a... Um... Oh, you're Shireen's? Yeah, yeah. But do you live in the detached house? I used to. I don't anymore. <laughs> no. The answer is no, Sean. Yeah, right? well, no. Don't no. go no. where the fucking house is. <laughs> no. I do not live in a detached house anymore. No. <laughs> That's what divorce does for you. Yeah. You're still paying for one, mind. Anyway, yeah. next up, Paul Celebsuit Artura, as his mates call him. Hi, fellas. Hope you're keeping well. We are. Oh, thank you, mate. Thank you. How do you think the current squad compares to some of the iconic teams in West Ham's history? Oh, blimey, Paul. And what strengths do you see in this team that could lead to success in the future? Well, fun- <coughs> funny you should say that, Paul, because I was just talking to Huey earlier, but just about to him, some search for him. So I wrote on, someone said to me, oh, this is the first hat trick at the London Stadium. And someone asked me last night, that when was the... the it was last our first hat-trick. hat-trick. Yeah, so the last hat-trick at uh, West Ham hat-trick was what? I'm going to test you now. If, if Carol? You know, it wasn't Carol. It was in the pandemic. 2020, I'll give you a clue. Come on, it's only got to be one person. Oh, please. no, it's, oh, I remember. No, he got four goals. It was four uh, goals, yeah. Michael Antonio gets Norwich. Norwich with no uh, crowd. Before that, it was Andy Carroll in 2016, actually, last year. Before yeah, that was time. against Arsenal. Yeah, I remember it. Uh, who was before that? See if you can know. Who was Nolan? Before? It was Kevin Nolan, yeah. There weren't that many, Sean. It's not that. Uh, Kevin Nolan. Um, and I'm trying to think who that was against. Was it Brighton? against Re- Reading? No, it was against Reading. Was it? That's Tay got a trick against Brighton. Yeah, I think. so. And then you've got um, Marlon Howard. I don't remember that one. Um, I'm trying to think when... Cotty Martin must have got one. And Cotty then, did, because he mentioned it today. Then, then Crossy, I imagine. Oh, Alvin That's... got a trick, didn't he? 86. So it is... Hang on, I've got one. Uh, Tony Cotty, 1994. So if we talk Premier League era. Uh, 1994 against Manchester City. Paul Kitson got two, one in 1997 and one in 2001. It was one against Charlton. Once against Charlton, one against Sheffield United. Marlon Harewood, 2005, against Aston Villa. That's right. I do remember it being against Villa now. Um, And then, obviously, Kevin Nolan and then Andy Carroll. Yeah. Oh, and that, in in Premier League history, um, that is it. So, what's that got to do with Paul's question? How do you think the current spot? Question. Yeah, because it sort of matches in with the historic, doesn't it? Well, iconic, you know, if we're talking about, maybe not. You know, are we looking like someone said, all right, let's talk about elephant in the room. Something Huey said to me earlier. Pack you mentioned off. Hugh a lot. Do you got oh, I, was, I had, a, com- I had a, a conversation today. with him just before I came on air. So it's, it's the one person I spoke to West Ham today about West Ham. He said, uh, Pakatar, this will set that with you going. Pakatar is the best player in that position I've seen since Devonshire. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't think I'm not, I'm not limiting Dev, but I don't think Pakatar is limited to that position either. Hmm. But for Dev, he was just dangerous. Coming Could you in. compare Pakatar to Devonshire? No, it's completely different players. Yeah, I know. But, uh, no, but that, that's his question. Do you, you got, think the current squad, well, I think, if we go back to his question, do you think yeah. any of the current squad compares with some of the iconic teams in West Ham's history? And what strengths do you see in the team that could lead to... Well, I think he's future? talking about the squad as a whole rather than picking at individuals. So is there yeah. any any kind of uh, strengths as a, a unit, as a whole? Well, well I think when you see Pakatar, Bowen and Kudus, yeah. Kudus join up together... 
that yeah. attacking force does remind me of, of previous West Ham teams, you know. Name with, name a squad. Go well, on, I'm, I'm probably going to go with, with the one I know. I'm, I'm going to say, you know, um, McAvenny, Cotty. Yeah, you're only was, thinking of two. I suppose Dev could fit into that as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, now you're talking. So that is. I mean, you remember that was comparable. They were just. Goal. I mean, they've won a big goal scorer, but the goals we got that season. Yeah. And, you know, they were just taking it in turns to score, yeah. weren't they, that year? Oh, actually, and I really yeah, do think Murray's going to reach 20 goals. And that will have to. Oh, don't happen. jinx him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's he on? 14 or 15 now? Mm. And the strengths is that the, you can see in a team that could lead to success in the future is. Like you say, the attacking lineup or the value of the attacking lineup, because the, let's be honest, I don't think we're going to see Kudos and Paquetta next year. But imagine the cash that could bring in. Well, I was just saying, no, I won't say, cause I was like, <laughs> just say this to you, but I was, I was saying, what Fuck we're going to do now? Oh, you're going to have to, like, have to have a swear box. What What are we going to do? Is, what are we going to do without Paquetta or Paquetta, as, as Moyes calls it? And I said, don't worry about that. You know, we're have a. 150 in them, you know, 160, 170. You know, if both of them are sold for 85 million pound each, we have 170 million pound in the bank yeah. for Stiden to do his business and find someone else. Oh, just can you good. imagine? Oh, it sounds good when you put it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about Stiden more and talk about Huey and Sullivan and everyone yeah. that are less. But at least, yeah. he, at least Huey gives me a fucking few quid. Not like yeah. the other, not. Yeah. Anyway, should we leave Paul's question and move on to yeah, Simon Pope? Yeah. Evening, gentlemen. So why is it that we can play like we did last night and in games such as Arsenal, Brighton, Spurs, etc., but returning to the defensive bullshit we have had to endure for the last months? It's a good point. It's almost like when he has to put it out, he does it. Yeah. It it's either when he when he's back, I mean, Paddy Power made a joke and said, <laughs> David Moyes, when he's back up against Warren, had a picture of um, Barcelona. And there is some yeah. of them, right? Yeah, there is. against the wall. West Ham turn up. But equally, you could say, if you've seen this stat, and I'm sure you have, the Pacatar stat. Every game he starts, I think, out of, you know, the games he started, we've won 85% of them. The games he hasn't started, we've won zero. Have you seen that stat? Yeah. It brings so much to the team around. It does, even without actually having the assists or, or scoring himself. Yeah. Anyway, those questions are coming cracking well, in now. All right, just calm down. Take a deep breath. <laughs> I ain't finished Simon's yet. Last oh, yeah. night, we played high-pressing football for the most part. My only concern was Zuma. For me, drop him out and put offs back in with Dino's. I think it means Ogs. He's got offs. It's corrected it. I'd like to see that, actually. Keep up the good work. Moyes out, Brady out. But I'd like to see that because he remember Ogbonna, how well he played against Arsenal. Fantastic display. Yeah. You can't keep playing. I mean, I've said it to him blue in the face, but we can't keep playing uh, Zuma. Yeah. Yeah. He's a lame. He's not. Well, I think everyone agrees with you on that. Yeah. He's like the kid in the uh, um, Pied Piper of Amelie. I don't think that was the name of the story. It, it was Pied Piper of Amelie. Yeah. Next up, Sean Cronin, leaving Jets, no question, Brady out. I like that. Any chance of Brady being there, Sean? Or she said anything no. to piss you off this week? No, no, I haven't spoken to her. Oh. You been watching The Apprentice? Uh, I don't, actually. Yeah. Um, do you know what? I'll tell you a story. Is, is it on BBC? Yeah. I don't have a, a TV license anymore. I've given up oh. watching TV. Do you know what? Do you know I, what? I, I, I haven't I watched watch TV. TV. For so long, live TV. I don't have an aerial. Um, I don't watch anything on BBC or, or... So, yeah, I just thought, what, what... And it was going up. I thought, what's the point of having a TV licence? So I literally do not watch anything on BBC. No. Yeah, I well, don't you need it to watch TV live don't, as well. But I, this ain't a watch, fucking BBC podcast. Don't watch Match of the them. Day. Don't, yeah, I've don't watch Match of the Day. You know, the only thing I might want to watch is... Doctor Who, but in the end, it comes on uh, other streaming channels anyway. Yeah. So. I mean, my favourite watch is Claret and Booze. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't watch FIFA. I don't watch. We laugh for you. Bring Hugh into it. I bring fucking. Yeah, well, I well, you know, I don't watch. To be fair, don't watch any YouTube channels, as I've said often. So I, I, I equally don't watch. Keep me company, they do when I'm painting and such. Nice, especially as the missus works on US time. I have like a whole morning where I've got no company. Oh, nice. Sometimes I don't talk to anyone until I see the barmaid. Yeah. Anyway, moving on very swiftly. Ian Gravitt. <clears throat> Evening, gents. Hope you are well. I started a new job. It's been oh. tough. Very hard working and strenuous. I wonder what it was. Any ideas? Is he a uh, coach, maybe? Uh, well, if I move further down the question, he might mention it. I doubt it, but you never know. I dozed off half expecting to get another home battering by Brentford. My wife woke me and said, you're winning 2-0. Wow, 10 minutes in. Full. They'd get one back. They did. Uh, where did that performance come from? Desperation, I'd say, Ian. And Pekatar. I'm mixing up my Pekatars with my Paquettas. Anyway, mm. we've been shit since New Year began. Is it because Paquetta is back in the side? Yes. Well, I think so. Which begs the question, if we do sell him, then what do we do? Well, it begs the question, if he's that important, why didn't you fucking buy a replacement in January? Or mm. move someone up? Because... He'd sooner put a defensive player there instead, but let's be honest. Moise. Yes. But we're preaching to the choir, man. Is Moyes totally oblivious to youngsters being brought in by Liverpool? People may say, but their scouting network is second to none, as is Cities and Chelsea. It proves that ours is half decent when players like Mukasa and Baptiste are now at City. Earthy could and should be given a few minutes last night. And he's got. A we could have done. Oh, mind could, you, no. Yeah. The last ten minutes, it all got a bit pear shaped. And I, if if I had a cushion, I would have hit behind the sofa. But I was at the game, so it was a hard watch. Because I know we were four two up, but you just thought, oh no! If the last ten minutes a goal goes, it's four three. The momentum with them, and if we draw, it's feel, it's going to feel like a loss. But what you're doing all round, though, Sean, is lacking faith. Yeah, no, absolutely. Because because I don't trust Zuma. I thought thought Mavropanos had a great game, but I don't trust Zuma. But really, you should be... uh, Well, not you, necessarily, but certainly David Moyes. He should put a player in from the youth team with enough confidence Mm. to know that he's going to be as good as the player he's replacing. You've got to trust him. Yeah, because yeah, they won't feel like it and they won't perform. Yeah, that's what John and I used to do. That yeah. used to sort of put all their trust in them. And he's hashtagged Ian Gravit, odious Spiv midget and Brady out. Yeah, got seventeen comments in total now. Well, see, there you go. We're quite a popular podcast for some reason. Yeah. Someone I know, I right, I saw a comment saying I was the best part of the podcast. Oh, I mean, well the geezer obviously drinks. Yeah, but, honestly. Uh, you couldn't see that on a, you know, a comment, a Twitter comment. Well, people suggested that I deliberately deleted the podcast. You lost yeah. your shit with Nigel. Let's be honest. Yeah. Right? Well, that would finish Nigel. If, that, if you ever found that, it would be credibility was completely gone. Because <laughs> he just U-turned. Because yeah, he saw it, it was, after. It was an interesting uh, podcast, which is lost forever. Episode yeah, 33. Yeah, never know. The lost podcast. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Anywho, up next, everyone's favourite clown, Adam Liverbra. <laughs> Talking to Twitter, he's a clown at times, he really is. Evening chaps, hope all is well. A glimmer of hope last night in getting back to form. I wonder if Adam wanted us to win this game, because he, he reckons he did, but he didn't want us to win mm. the last one. No, I saw that. Strange attitude. Adam, never not want your team to win. Where do you go from there, Adam, if you don't want your football team to win? Anyway. Mm. I'm not changing my opinion that Moy should go. Neither am I, Adam. We scored four goals last night, but he's not getting the best out of the defence, as we can see too many, as it undoes the hard work in attack. I think I'm the only one that felt uneasy, despite the two no, goals. No, you cushion. weren't. We all felt uneasy, Adam. I weren't uneasy. Oh. But because I, I had this confidence that we are going to... This street's a strange man, David Moyes. He... He fills me with no confidence because of his predictability, right? But he fills me with extreme confidence 
when it means getting the results. It's amazing how Moyes ball, not that it was Moyes ball last night, but when he has to get the result, he gets the fucking result. But, yeah, I mean, my Moyes out, I mean, you, what you could say, and I don't want to sort of, you know, throw cold water over the pan, but what it did show last night, if it worked so well with Pecatar and that, why he didn't, you know, replace him? Why hasn't bought hmm. a backup for him? And that's why I'm always out, because I just don't think what he does is we in the best interest of the club. Desperately. We desperately want him to stay, though, Sean. <laughs> I'm a desperate coward. I don't want to lose his Premier League money. <laughs> well, I ain't finished Adam's question yet. Go on, then. Anyway, it is, as it's question time after all, Emerson scored a cracker... He last did. night, but guy. was it the best goal you've seen at London Stadium? Was it better than Cowles? Oh, over a kick? No. What about Dimitri's Pires no. against no. Baba? No. There you go. There's your answer, Adam. Sorry, Adam. not putting it words was, in his mouth, Adam. It was, it was a great. We'd have been a, here all night. It was a great goal, but not better than those two. It wasn't a bicycle kick, and it wasn't a, an amazing free kick. That That's been coming that goal though for me. He's a class yeah, player, yeah, isn't he's he? And he's got player. confidence. I mean, certainly, I think it will win, um, or it will be up there for uh, goal of the month for West Ham. <laughs> no, for the Premier League. No, it won't even get in it. You don't think we're so? fucking West Ham? When we fucking featured it, it will be. It will be featured in. It will be one of the clips. Whether it will win it, we'll see. All right. Anyway, thanks, Adam. Yeah, thanks, Adam. As always, keep up the fantastic work. Here's another one that don't fucking pay attention, eh? Come on, you irons. Moyes out. Hashtag lighten up. I told him to lighten up last night. Yeah, lighten up. Lighten up. You've got to want the team to win, Adam. Yeah. Next up is Bob's full ass. Bob ass. Bob Good ass. win. Am I missing something with Zuma? Moyes wants him to have a new contract, I think. He looks... Does he? What? No, I've not heard that. He's having a bubble bath. No, he has having a bubble bath. For me, it looks too heavy and slow. For me, it looks no. fucking completely he looks injured. injured and finished. Well, do you know what? I was watching him run last night, and you're just thinking... Doesn't run. That's, that's the most unnatural thing you could ever see. It's just like... I don't know. No, I'm not going to say that. Cause I, I'm, there was one point, he went right up the up the field, right behind the strikers, like and I'm like, fucking, he never give back. I, I, I just, you know, look, I... Uh, Chelsea were having a laugh. He, look, he, on his day, he's a great defender, right? And zoom, they shout as he and he, he made some important blocks last night, right? Yeah. However, good in the air. He just looks, he looks injured. He he's just finished. Looks injured. Yeah, I can see. He's, yeah. I don't, not done up. You know, comes to everyone. But as you yeah. say, do you think we've got a twenty-five million out of him? Or yeah, yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Then. Yeah. Uh, right, moving on then. He said, what do you think? But we've already answered yeah, it, really. Yeah. Uh, he says, he also says, Brady out. You going to give me a reprise, Sean? Uh, uh, Brady in. Everyone said Brady out so far. I'm not going to say Brady out. I mean... Because no, you're an arse geez, No, I'm not. Because no, you just, think in the future there might I be know, something in it for you. I know. This is why I'll give... I this say, on. Look, this I'm is why I'll, I'll give mixed. I'm not going to be disingenuous. I know you Karen. are disingenuous. That's what you're I doing. I know it. Karen. I like Karen. I'm not going to make any pretend. Not enough to watch I'm, her program. I think she's very talented, and we're lucky to have her. Right, shut up. Right, I'm moving on. <laughs> Fuck off, Sean. You asked. You asked. No, I didn't ask that. <laughs> I didn't ask. Is Brady talented? I asked for a fucking Brady out. Anyway, Which Paul Nolan. He won't disappoint me. Show for here. Beep beep. Well, that was marginally better last night. We still have some poor players in the squad. Bear that in mind. Who are your three worst players to wear a West Ham shirt? <laughs> it's a big list, so think carefully. He's right. And he also says, everyone out. And that includes Brady. Um, so what's your, fir- what's your three worst players to wear a West Ham shirt? God, it's a fucking business. Well, Mido. 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 Uh, Benny oh. McCarthy. I think um, there were some worse than Benny McCarthy. Savio robbed a living. Yeah, Savio's there for me. That's um, the very dodgy. He wasn't even a footballer. There's no way he was no. a footballer. I mean, it seems harsh to um, 
call out ones. There must be so many that we've forgotten. Titi Kamara. Well, um, um, Kieran Dyer. Robbed yeah, but he weren't win. a bad footballer. He's yeah, but he, he, Freddie Lundberg. Robbed a living. He had an attitude us. problem, yeah. He robbed a living. And, you know, in those days of that, you know, Icelandic ownership. Oh, I know where you're going. In on lots of money and took us for a ride and took them for a ride. And I just think they just stole a living. And maybe I'm being a bit unfair to Freddie Lindbergh and, and Kieran Dyer, who was injured a lot. But <laughs> Jack Wiltshire, is that being unfair? In, in no, I don't times? think that is being unfair at all. In fact, when you think about it, outside of um, Arsenal or even Arsene Wenger's Arsenal, I don't think he was much of a player at all. No. As I mean, I, I remember getting so excited over Joe Hart. It was the goalie I wanted. Yeah. He was a dream fucking goalie. Oh, whiff, you just reminded me. Roberto. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> there you go. When you start going, you can, uh, you can, they come off the tongue, don't they? Yeah, Roberto. Yeah. We've gave you more than three there, Paul. Yeah, way. I mean, and to be fair, I amazed we remembered them their names. Yeah, because there must be more that we forgot. I, I bet the people were just shouting at us now, like right, with names that we've, you know, Carl, we've had some bad shit. Some of your mates fucking gambles as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, why are you talking about the Icelandics? Don't think I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> anyway, next up, Matthew Kemp. Evening, gents. What's the situation with Zuma? Is he able to train regularly, or is it similar to what Let the Deadly King did at Spurs? Well, it's similar Thanks. to what Andy Carroll did at West Ham, which is he's got a special training regime. Look, what can I say without spilling the beans? Right, let me, uh, if I answer the question, you can think about Go on. what you can say about spilling the beans. Does he have an underlying injury that was ignored when he passed the medical at West Ham? Come on, Sean, reveal yes. all. Yes. Brady out. A certain senior source didn't want to sign him because of desperately uh, against signing because Sean. of his knees. His knees in a but desperate a certain bad manager way. who won't be named insisted that we sign him. Uh, a bit like, <laughs> funny enough, uh, Jack Wilshire, and you know you you got back your manager. So you know, have we had the money out of him? Look, Zuma is a great player. But his knees are shot. You said yes. Sorry? Uh, you said yes. We no, you asked if him. we've had our money's worth. Yeah. Now, but look at that. I mean, you're inferring Pellegrini, aren't you? So it just goes to show how long he's lasted. So 25 yeah. million, done a good job, time to move on. Yeah. So yeah. how long is it, though? Six years? What did he or say? Five years. Zoom. <laughs> I think it was a five-year contract. Which well, he must Zoom be coming to an end. Oh, no. No, he probably has had it already renewed already, hasn't he? Um, Another reason I why I'm out. remember what a oh, year he signed. But I'm, I'm just looking matter. him up. He's 29 right. years old, by the way. Um, do not matter. What do you mean, it don't matter? How old well, he is? he's fucked. He's injured in liability in a nice yeah, way. He signed in 2021. So does does that make him August 2021? That makes him a, a David Moyes signing. I thought it was a David Moyes signing. Yeah, it is a David Moyes signing. <clears throat> there you go. And you're, what Not you're saying is he didn't want to sign him. Yeah, you see, you see what you've done there? Because you no, thought no, it was I, Pellegrini, no, I you didn't threw him under the fucking bus. You said it was Pellegrini. Nah, I mean, I you said a certain manager. A and certain you said manager. A long with, along with um, Jack Wilshire. Oh, no, no, no. I, Jack Wilshire was a different one. But but I knew that um, it probably was. Oh, you've more let it. You fucking, you've let the cat out of the bag there. You've thrown him right under the bus. For I have. There. Bit, yeah. Yeah. Let's hope this fucking episode don't go missing like the last one. Oh, yeah. God help us. Yeah. Then again, they'll never know, would they? No, exactly. Right. Anyway. Up next, Spandau Ballet, Rody, Matthew Kemp. Peeving gents. No, I've already done him. No, you right? haven't. No, no, no. I'm I'm clicking them off. I, I click on like each no, time. No, we are. They ask the question. I'm 
Did I say Matthew Kemp before? That was Matthew Kemp's question, the Zuma one. Uh, oh, yeah, it was. You were right. We, we're doing so much fucking yeah, filling. I know. That's that right. We can't even remember where we yeah, started. You're right. That was Matthew Kemp. Yeah. Kings of the field, we are. I know, we are. Like ginsters. Up next, Barry Meikle. Yeah. Good result to get us back on track and three points on last year Up to on the Barama. So plus three Same points point on the Barama. Seventh place, Brighton. Still ape, Sean. It's not. It... We're only like. Um, don't we're eight. Except things. It's just like your Brighton. detached house. You don't have a detached house. We're an eighth. There's on no the same points as Brighton. You, you got to be a bit binary something. Fuck Brighton. Yeah, I'm just saying because seven the, is a European. We're behind place. them, Sean. It doesn't matter. We're just goal difference from a European right. pace. All right. Right. Due to child pickups, I missed the first 15 and last 10 minutes of the game and therefore missed four of the six goals. That was unlucky, <laughs> Barry. Yeah, yeah. That was very. I, I mean, I, I missed the. We had no train, so I didn't, you know, I had to watch it all. From the pub. Anyway, question for you guys. Apart from last night, have you ever seen a West Ham player score a trick live? And what are your memories of it? Everyone out. That includes Brady. Well, Carol. Uh, last one I saw. Yeah, so I saw the Carol one. And you saw the one last night. Well, I didn't. I saw, I, yeah, I saw last night. I saw the Carol one. Didn't obviously, no one saw anyone who says they saw the Antonio ones lying because no. there were no fans there. Right. Um, Marlin Harewoods. No, I, I don't think I was there that night. I thought that was away from home for some reason. Yeah, I think you find it was. Um, I'm sure I saw the. I certainly saw a, a, a Paul Kitson one. I can't remember which one. And um, I have seen uh, the Tony Cotty one. Uh. The Kevin Nolan one was against away at Reading. Now, I did do some away Reddings, but I don't think I saw that one. Definitely saw the Andy Carroll one. Definitely saw the first Tay one. The... I thought I thought Nolan got one against Brighton as well. Might be wrong. No, he got one against Reading. Uh, Sounds about right. Yeah. Shall I move on? Yeah, move on. Next up, top fan Daryl Holly. Hiya. Hope you're all well. What a scary difference Paquetta makes. He does. Yeah, it's true. He does. Due to him making such a huge difference and making everything click as the key component. That's true. He's a, he's a catalyst, isn't he? He is a catalyst. A no is, lovely word. Catalyst. Yeah, nice yeah. word, that. Is the way his original injury was mismanaged more of a crime than repeating our January tra transfer window of two years ago in the same position in the league in Europa? He's got a good point. That's why a lot of people were Brady out. He shouldn't uh, moise out because he he did rush him back. Yeah, I mean, uh, and that was my concern much. last night. It um, was yeah. rushed back at Bristol. He, tired. he did tire, didn't he? Did you he did. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, who made that decision? Was yeah. was it Moyes or, or was it the medical team? I mean, it was a on hindsight, it was a bad. It was a bad decision. Whoever mm. made it. Well, Moyes made it as. The, the transfer window of two years ago mm -hmm. that he didn't make a signing. That was Moises as well. He's made a lot of mistakes, Sean. I won't say he hasn't. Right, OK. And if so, if I'm to believe what I've read about Moyes being given the wrong information about Paquetta's original injury, well, I don't really understand. Do you know anything about that? I think there was some different medical opinion on the original injury. Oh, right. And we, we had to get... There, should we? We got a had to get a second opinion, right? Uh, and he insisted seeing a specialist as well. Right. Which modern days, right? Agents get involved and they don't just want to believe club doctors; they want to see their own specialist. And fair enough, they're million pound assets, so it's their right, you know, it's their body. Should Moyes be given some slack? Nope. Yep. Hope Moyes gets a bit more savvy about looking after his very few gems. Although I doubt he will as he may as well have three subs on the bench and not nine. You know, it's very true. Yeah. It's very true. Come on, you irons. There's no... Come on, you irons. See, there's no one, one out. sign off. No Brady out, but I can do a come on, you irons. That's and, yeah, but, you know, he says, should Moyes 
be given some slack. So he kind of, yes. you know, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. that was also quite. How you know, right. percent Moy should be given some slack? Well, he should be given some slack now because we, we know we've only got to the end of the season. I'm certainly not sort of, I'm certainly going to be looking forward to the games and just yeah. trying to get through it the best we can. But he's not staying, is he? Let's be honest. Right. Oh, no. He's... Right, next up, Daniel Beebe. Evening, gents. Surely with the potential outgoings this summer, unless we're planning to spend big money in the summer, then what's the sense in not giving Johnson and Obama new deals? If nothing else, just to fill some of the quota of homegrown players need. You're not wrong, Daniel. He's right. It's better than that. He's right, isn't he? Maybe they know that Moyes is leaving and in the knowledge that a new manager will have to integrate some of the youth to cover. To cover it, and then we would have to, then we would have to spend fortunes. Brady out, Sullivan out, Kutinsky out. He's got Moyes in if he approaches every game like last night winning loads. <laughs> but that's why he's Moyes out, Daniel. And going back to his question, yeah, about the youth cover and stuff, and you know, he's, he's 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 not wrong, and but I've always but said, you know, if that's he's right, some but, people have reasons they don't want to sign new contracts as i said signing on fees yeah um you know their agents want to earn and stuff like that so let's let's just not think Do that you... these mumbama and ben johnson wants to stay you know they might not want to stay and no, it might, might not, not be about to. the manager yeah yeah of course if we get like and Gakio, been tapped up by um you know, no, their it hadn't agent. Been tapped up. No, it hadn't been tapped up. It was always going to Watford. To Watford, yeah. Because he knew he was behind Johnson. Yeah. All right. Fair but, enough. Um, how well was it gone for him at Watford then? He don't care, does he? No, how He wasn't that, that good a player. I'm asking you how well. I don't watch it. Watford. No, there you go. no one does. That's my point. Um, If Paqueta and Kudus go, yeah. do, do you think. Um, Stider's likely to be looking on the continent, isn't he? Rather than an English player. But more yeah. than them, we've got the boy at Southampton. From Finn Chelsea. Dines, yeah. He's, yeah. he's injured at the moment. And everyone's telling me that I know at Southampton that, that they're really struggling since Finn, Finn Dines yeah. got injured. He's their peck guitar. Yeah. Not, obviously, not the same quality. But <clears throat> I was told that the manager thinks he's not quite up to Premier League standards. We didn't need to tell us that, really. We just put that out for ourselves. Right. Yeah, yeah, he was the man that signed him. Yeah. Moyes out. Next up, Dan Numbers. Good old oh, Dan from Dan Twitter. Dan Numbers. He's made up a Keeps Facebook account. Keeps me on account. my toes on yeah. Twitter, does Dan. Yeah. Literally made up a Always. Facebook account to, oh. to ask a question. Yeah, go on. Because we like, in Co- we like having our rebel, our crowd. Yeah. A community, well done. some people call them. Well done, Dan. In the YouTube world. We like communities. If the... Well, Sean don't. If the manager's situation goes to a board vote, that famous actress who was added as a director during the COVID season, who played the star roles in films, lesbian nurses, and the holy housewives on the job, which way is she voting? So he did makes it all the worthwhile that he created a Facebook account to ask a question like that. Do you get that well, question? I do get it, right. I was laughing too much as way from it. Right. So I had to read it first. First of all, um, he's not with her anymore, right? And she's not a director anymore. So I don't know if you know, but during the pandemic, a number of people were made directors so they could see games. It included her. It included, um, um, who was uh, David Gold's best mate, um, the old guy? And it was also at the time, Den Can- Cunningham and um, uh, <coughs> Vanessa and Jacqueline as well, actually, before, uh, obviously, Jacqueline passed away. Anyway, the, the, the main reason was the only way you could watch games is become a board director. Yeah. And all these people, including the mother of Jack and uh, David Sullivan Jr. Um, was were made directors. But soon as the pandemic ended, uh, their directorships were terminated. So that's not... That was a 2016 um, story. And uh, 
not true anymore. Her name was Eve, by the way, or is Eve? That's right. That's right. And uh, uh, there's, there's Emma a... Jane Everton Benton Hughes. Right. But Adams commented. Right. So not true saying... anymore. She doesn't get a vote because she's been removed as a board member. That's Jack true. and Dave Jr. remain as far as I'm aware. They are. And the irony of this is, this is why I tell him to fucking not take things so fucking seriously, Adam. Because yeah. there's a picture of her with a lesbian nurse's I uniform see that. on. Yeah, fucking see that. cracking knocker she's got. And you've got Adam making comments like that. And he wonders why I say to him, you need to fucking lighten up, Adam. Yeah. I think Dan right. Humbert was trying to stir something that doesn't exist. Well, he's trying to be humorous, which is all good in my fucking book. Let's be honest. Yeah. Right, next up is Ryan Doyle. Ryan Doyle. Or have I asked Ryan's? You or haven't, you... no. Right. <clears throat> Evening, lads. Great win last night. We seem to be nothing without Paquetta. Stacks don't lie. Check them, Sean. Yeah, no, no, he's right. That's right. Sad we are always one injury away from being absolute shite, yeah, though. Yeah, he's right about that as well. What would it take for you to want to keep Moyes? For me, Europa League win is the only thing for me, and even then, I wouldn't be thrilled. I just can't take him. He loves himself more than he loves West Ham. He's right, and that's not the sort of manager I want in charge, plus the garbage football. You're preaching right. to the choir, Ryan. Yeah. But the good news is, regard, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Sean, regardless of the success or lack of success he achieves this season, he'll be offered a new contract based on the certain parameters, Yeah. which is no transfers. You're a coach. And I don't no, think he'll accept don't, that. don't believe the whole God um, conspiracy theory put out there by Nick, right? Well, he said Nick said it. I saw uh, Russ say it. <clears throat> West Ham oh. Network. So it got no. leaked, didn't it? So someone leaked it for Russ to well, say because he wouldn't yeah, have took it from me. I know where that came. Look, I, I, I could say. Tell me where it came from. I, I can tell you off air. I can't tell you on air. Sullivan. Um, no, no. What do you say? I don't want. Someone to put it out there for for, I, for I, Russ I, to say. It. I understand, but I don't want to because one, I don't want to name one publicly, and two, I just think it's unfair. I will tell you off air, but I'm not telling you on air. I don't care. I it's just not true. Ryan. It is not true. The, the main thing is it's not true. It's fucking true. It's you, not true. I, I tell you what, Sean. Get that fucking hundred quid out, you own Nick. No, it, yeah, no it, way. It, you cannot read people for fucking toffee. Well, we you shall can't see. see these things we coming. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. And if there's a contract presented to him, I don't think you take it. Okay, we'll see. What about Pam back up north? He's not going to do all that, miss out and seeing his wife, is he? His name Pam? Pam. He is yeah. Pam, isn't it? Yeah. Very Scottish wife's name, Pam. I don't right. think he's ready to retire just yet. Would you think you'd find another club then? No, I don't. Oh, Sean, you do fucking dream if you think he's there next year. You I really do, do, though. For is what it... reason? What, what? Surely you don't want... I'm trying to remember where Pamela lives. She lives in Scotland. No, is it's she? not, is it? Well, up north, then. She it is she's up still north. It's a, it's area. a village. It's a village. You, you know he stays down in Stratford, doesn't he? He, it's a Lancashire village. And I forget the name of it. Um, It'll come back to me. But he, 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 his family home is in Lancashire. Do you know Lancashire? Do I know Lancashire? I know Lancashire. Lancashire, yeah. Y- yeah. Of course, of course he lives in Lancashire. Manchester's in it, isn't it? Yeah. That's where that's where his wife lives and where he travels back. Well, that's strange. So well, maybe when he joined Man United, he bought a house there instead. Or maybe he's just over the border, not too far from Liverpool. Either way, we don't really fucking care. I bet he's well, you got a detached yeah. house. No, I don't care. What should I care about? He don't care about me or anyone else. Moyes cares about Moyes. We're telling you for dinner where long. Anyway, talking about people that don't care. Next up... Richard Dodds, everyone's no. favourite, everyone's favourite sex tourist. Oh, for Christ's sake! <laughs> Look, if I'm going to give it to Mick, I'm going to give it to Richard. He must have been quite pleased with that Freiburg draw because he missed out last year on the ladies of Freiburg, he did, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, you're right. So he gets another go, assuming he's. 
still there to go. Good evening to both of you. What do you believe it would take for David Moyes to stay at the end of the season? And what do you think it would take for David Moyes to be offered the imaginary contract he says is at the end of the I, rainbow? I think a top 10 finish and maybe a semi-final, getting to at least a semi-finals Europa League, will be enough. And I think if he's asked, he will take it. I think, as as his brother said to a friend of ours, you know, he's got unfinished business. He said as much last night. He likes the club. He likes his project here. The board like him. He likes the board. It's just the fans that he's got a bit of a problem with the relationship. We don't but as like long the as the football. fans don't turn on the board, I think he'll be offered another contract. Which is again. why the Moyes out banner was out. Yeah, and I think he'll but have... Dossie's a... Moyes out now. I know. I'm, I'm feeling I'm the only Moyes in anymore. Who is your Moyes player... In. Who is your player of the season so far? For me, this is Dodsey. It's Ariola. He's got a good point. Yes, he's had a cracking season. Yeah, could have been. I wonder what. Yeah, could have been a lot worse. Boys could have been out. Yeah, already. And one for fun. What is your favourite of the Sweeney, Minder, or the professionals? Oh, Minder that's easy. For me. Professionals, big. Professionals, oh, really? Yeah. I just like the, like the humour in Minder. Oh, I like oh. all three of them. I liked um, uh, what's his name? Shaw. Um, Shaw Taylor. Shaw Taylor. Is it Shaw Taylor? No, Shaw Taylor. Um, he, he played judge, didn't he? In uh, oh, you, yeah, I never saw that. And who's Cowley in the Professionals? I wish you Jackson. Used to like him. No. Did you watch the Professionals? I can't remember names. You know what I'm like, Sean. Um, no. The, the profession was about Bodie and Doyle, Sean. It was Bodie and Doyle, but I'm trying to think of who the... Martin Shaw. Oh, okay. And then you had Lewis Collins. Right. And the guy who I was trying to think at, Scottish guy, Gordon Jackson. Jackson. Gordon Jackson. Gordon See, Jackson. That's what I said to you, Sean. The yeah. first time, time I remember someone's name. Believe it or you not. you poo-poo me. Believe it or not, he died in 1990. Yeah, I do. I he, remember 66 it. Sixty-six years old. He, yeah, I remember it. He was also in upstairs, downstairs. He, um, that classic. He Sunday. did. Yeah, he he died. Um, bloody hell, he died thirty, thirty-four years ago. You yeah, know, you just sure. think, you know, they live on in things like reruns of um, upstairs, downstairs, and and the professionals, which is still playing. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, Dodsey finishes off with Brady out, Brady out, Brady out. So them two Brady outs. Moise in, Moise in, Moise in. Uh, knocks off the one that wasn't Brady out. So we're, we're in credit with Brady out, which is oh, always okay. good. Good. Ian Gravitt, any truth that Nolan took charge last night? So you say that again? Any truth that Nolan took charge no. last night? No, no, no. How would something like that happen? No. If it was true? It, 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 well, no, if it was human. true. No, it, it, if Nolan took charge, right... Moyes just wouldn't be there in the dugout. It just, it just wouldn't happen. It's just, it's just the usual bollocks that gets talked on social media. You get, and you're very offended by it. Shall I we? am very offended by it. You need to calm down a bit. I know. I should. So you're saying no? No, I'm saying a clear no. So what? Uh, what about the Dutch guy? He took charge. I can't see how this can happen. To be honest, I'm just trying to think a scenario. Who says to Well, to, if he's ill, someone? yeah, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, let's just stick on West Ham. The answer's no. Next up, David Baker. Good evening. Do you think Kevin Nolan, another Kevin Nolan question, would be the next celebrity boxer? <laughs> yeah. Shame he failed to land one on Mope last night. <coughs> well, you know the story here, yeah? He, he took exception and had to be separated from Mope because Mope... I mean, he, Try to influence Mope people. tries to argue with everyone. and He's, I, he's I hear, trying to influence the referee. Who told me earlier, was it you or someone else said he's the most disliked person in the Premier League, player in the Premier League? Uh, once, I want, I want oh, it was mate. Huey. I was speaking to Huey. You, yeah, you never <laughs> you mentioned it. To, oh, anyway, um, he apparently went to the referee's room at half time and tried to remonstrate with the referee that he was not being fair to, to yeah. Brentford. He's trying to influence people. He's trying to influence. And uh, in the words... Kevin Nolan oh, took exception to that and decided yeah. to uh, have a pop at him 
And of course, Mopay being Mopay, it was words at that point, then tried to get all Larry. And you don't get Larry to Kevin Nolan or you, or you, or you land one on you. Newcastle, lad. He's not a Newcastle lad. Is he not? He's a scouser. Is he a scouser? Why don't I think he was a Newcastle lad? Because he played for Newcastle. I know he did, but for some reason I thought he was a... Uh... He lived with Carol. Yeah, that's probably why I thought he was a... Uh... You're not getting mixed up with whatever happened to the Lightly lads, are you? No. That was James Bowden. He was born in Liverpool. You are 100% correct, by well, the way. Well, he's a scouser. So, yeah, yeah, you know, he talks like a scouser. He says he's a scouser, but, yeah. you know. Got Finley sitting, me, uh, uh, sitting next to me now um, in the studio, and he's, saying, he's showing me a, um, a link of uh, that he's born in Liverpool. Yes, thank you, Finley. There you go. He played for Newcastle. Right. Right. So next what... up. Go on. A.I. Sean. A.I. Sean. A.I.O.P. And he's starting up with Brady Hi, out, Nick so that Moy's out. All right, Nick Harvey. Oh, see, it's a, it's funny how, you know, you keep people's trust for some and you don't for Ray you don't for Nick Harvey. <laughs> I know, I know, Nick yeah, Harvey. Yeah, you're fucking, you're, yeah. It's not just um, Kevin Nolan who doesn't like people who try to influence people. All influence is evil out. Oscar Wilde said that, Sean. All influence is evil. Anyway, yeah. back to Sean's question. Uh, AI Sean's question. Bowen's on fire once again, the Paquette is back, so as long as those two stay fit, we might have a decent go at the remainder of the season. It's a big if, yeah. but it's true. But, you know, them players are just great, they really are. Yeah. Sumer has to have a spell on the bench as he's getting worse as weeks go by. Get Oiki back in the team. We all agree. Yeah. And that's for Dave. Doesn't, doesn't specify what Dave. There's zero chance of him signing a new contract in the summer. That'll be Moise then. Moise then. Moise him. Although I'm sure Sean will say that the board will review everything at the end of the season. Of course he would. Who the hell would buy... Who the hell would be buy, buy to replace Paquetta in the summer? Oh, don't even think that far. I'm not fucking leaving! No, stop it! He is leaving. Turn it off. The show goes off! No, it don't. Turn it off. <laughs> this is my home. They're going to need a fucking wrecking ball to take me out of here. That could be fucking arranged. <laughs> Next up. So who are we going to buy to replace Paquetta in the summer? Well, uh, in, in Tim Stiden we trust. Yeah, we do. Yeah. You've got to, you, you're right, Osho, you've got to not worry about stuff yeah, like that. I won't worry about it. Why did so many ferns turn up last night looking on empty seats, Sean? <laughs> no, look, as I said before, sell-out tickets were sold out, right? So the way this works is, right, there are 48,500 um, season ticket holders, okay? So that means if you take away the 3,000 away fans which sold out their allocation as well, right, that takes you up to 51,500. Which means that there's uh, ten thousand, ten and a half thousand tickets for general sale. So when a when a game sells out for the Premier League, it means that they've sold all ten and a half thousand tickets. Well, no, thirteen thousand tickets that were available. Three thousand for the away fans, and ten and a half thousand for home fans. So it means thirteen and a half thousand tickets have been sold now. With the rest of it, when it's sell out, ticket opens. Right? Right. Some people right. like Nigel. Remember the question he asked. Right? Nig people like Nigel refuse to put it on ticket exchange. So that seat goes empty, like Charlie not coming. And I know other people, right? John. Nigel went last night, didn't he? He did, but Charlie didn't. John didn't. He asked me to put his ticket on um, ticket exchange. Huey and I couldn't get there. asked me to put his ticket on ticket exchange. So... You None know, of them sold on Ticket Exchange, did they? No, they didn't. So it's not no. fucking sell out, is no, it? So, well, it's not because the ticket still. Yeah. So hang on. So what right, happens is on. if you don't sell it on Ticket yeah. Exchange, yeah. it goes back to you an hour before the game. It was not and you've still got a right. ticket. Right. It's so, not a sell out. So right. there were 62,500 tickets it's sold. It's not, but the, some of the ticket holders did not turn up. And that's yeah. the truth of it. Yeah. And the truth of it also is you don't live in a detached house. 
Yeah, true. But you can't tell the truth, Sean. You have a, you struggle with it, didn't you? <laughs> no, I don't struggle with it. <laughs> what did Nigel make of all the stats about Moyes Ball on Monday Night Football? You'd have to ask him I another don't know. time. He, he was there, he but was you pretend he didn't me. see it. He, he was not there, so how would he have seen Monday Night Football? In fact, I got on a, um, you know, it was well gone half ten, and we were only getting on the DLR at putting Mill Lane at half ten, so he wouldn't have seen it. Right, and just for good measure, yeah, AI Sean has added everyone out. Okay, everyone out. There you go. Right, who else have we got to? Nikki Terry, Nikki Davis, I think. Hey, about Ben Ashford, he's got a long question here. Go on then. All right. Evening, lads. Hope you're all good, question mark. That's, that's, that's his question. It's not really. There's only two of us, and we're yeah. bloody good, thank you. Been yeah. having discussions, stroke arguments recently with mates, re West Ham's perception of Moyes, and if we should or should not want him out. The following points were put forward. Hmm. What if there's a question at the end of this? Let's not forget this run in Europe is only because of a two-year-old made-up competition. I like this way, the way this is going. This question. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Otherwise, we would would have been in no competitions. Is right. Well, other than the cups that we were already out of. Then we got another European run because we won that comp after finishing 15th in the league. And Moyes would have been gone if we didn't win that. Only way this Moy balls is acceptable is if we win. If the team actually tried and got pumped, then fair enough. I agree with that. I also agree that if we didn't win that cup, then Moyes wouldn't, then Moyes wouldn't have had the contract renewed. But also, if we did win that cup, I wouldn't have sold shit loads of fucking canvases. So can I? Can I just? You know, it's all about facts, right? And go on. Sometimes, I guess, well, you know, it depends if you're answering the question. But go on. Well, if you can't get one fact right, I sort of don't trust the rest of it, what you say. Right, okay. We so didn't to, to confirm, you live in a fucking semi-detached... We... Actually, it's a terrace house. Oh. On a oh. private state, obviously. <laughs> but well. yes, it's still a terrace house. Go on, a carry town. on then, a fact finder. Actually, Come on. townhouse is the right word. Town oh, house. all right. Townhouse. Should I finish Ben's question, or do you want it, to... We didn't finish 15th. So, just saying that. Last season, right. we didn't finish 15th. Do you agree with that first fact? That's in the past. I don't even. It wasn't a memorable season other than the cup win. That's yeah, what cup we wins do for you. We finished 15th. We finished 14th. 13th, didn't we? 14th. 14th. Yeah. Uh, which was my prediction, I believe. 14th and fuck there all. But we'd won that cup. Which yeah. is... But you can't constantly play mind mumbling, numbling, numbing negative football when we lose. when. When we lose, expect everyone to go, oh, never mind, eh? Mm. Let's be honest. Oh, never mind, eh? Oh, never mind, eh? Let's be honest. We won't win Europa League this season. No. Might do. Oh, you've seen the teams in it. Could be a fucking yeah. Champions League this year. Yeah. And I'll be shocked if we stay in the top 10. Going I back don't... to that, what we just said, this is what disappointment, the, 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 the disappointment of that Europa season when we was in the semis. There was never an easier time to win that comp. They did fall. Yeah, I know. And to not sign players in that chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a club-changing decision, that. You, you're talking about the when we lost in the semi-final. Yeah. Still blame Aaron Cresswell. But you can if you like, but, you know. Not to mention the fact that he sold three players in the window Yeah. on an already paper-thin squad, and then well, he brings players in a who guy. Wanted to go. Players who did not want to play for West Ham anymore, but okay. Let's and not then let facts Because of him. Yeah. Because of him, Mr. Detached. Yeah. Brings in a guy who Townhouse. hasn't played regular Townhouse. football for how long? Starts him immediately after Sam, before he likes to bed in players at first. What do you guys think? Apologies for the long message. I understand if you don't read it out, don't be daft. Oh, and of course, Brady out. So he made it all worth it. That was a good question, that. Yeah. What We agree with everything you said. Ben, no, no, you agree with everything he says. Well, what do you disagree with? I, 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 well, I, I say we finished 14th. Right. I, I don't blame on the three players that left. Um, look, but I they, know it can be frustrating at times. but You can't say they don't want to play for West Ham because but they I did. But I just don't think every game is Moyes ball. And I just I just get a bit fed up with that. If I'm honest with you, I'm fed up with the whole Moyes 
um, question, really. Let's just well, we'll be gone soon, season. Sean. All right, whatever you say. You'll be under nick a lighter. Yeah, fine. It'll go through a good cause if it does. Yeah. Do you know what that is yet? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. he he gets choose if he wins, but if it if it's me, it will go to the Alzheimer's. Uh, it might um, be the same as him. You never know. You never know. No. Although right. the way he's going, he'll probably go to the Art Foundation. Anyway, yeah. Uh, it, Perry Nicky Davis is the all one. Right, all right. All right, Sean. I can see. I'm in control. All right. All right. Fair enough. No, it don't sound like it, but I am. Terry Nicky Davies, evening fellas. I wonder if I think Deep Nick is probably his wife. And they're like sharing a Facebook yeah. account. What do you think about Could that? Be. Could be. Let's not be sexist though. No, but it's just the way Nick is spelled. And okay. there's a there are standing there as a couple You can identify as who you want to nowadays, you know that. Alright. Alright. Why don't you identify as Brady out? Because I don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah that's right. Well, I'd certainly do. Evening, fellas. Great win Monday night for the Amers. Clear yeah. to see the improvement having yeah. Paquetta back in the team. But I can't help feel frustrated relying on one player to make a difference. What's your opinion? Brady out. Hard to not disagree with you, Terry Nicky Davis. Um, we do rely on one player. We do rely on one player, and, and let's hope we can sort that out in the summer when um, uh, Moy signs his two year contract. I don't think so. Ed Hughes. Mind you, loves a bit of squirrel. No, you, you haven't done him yet. No, I know. I was just going to talk linger a bit. All right, okay. I was just going to say a lot of teams rely on one or two players. Yeah, true. When they're missing. Salah. Um, yeah, but Holland's they just fucking now. won a cup without him. Yeah, I know. That's Some not too much rely And they put the kids in and showed Moisey how to do it. Talking of Ed Hughes. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big Friday night dinner fan. Right. And I recently watched the 10-year anniversary special right. on Netflix. Have you seen that? It keeps coming up. Uh, and it, I didn't watch the series, so it's a bit daft. And it's... it's Oh, haven't you? No. So you, so you, you say it loves a bit of Squirrel and you've never watched it. It's hilarious. You've got to watch it. But it had Paul Ritter on it, who, who if you know you watched it, was the guy who said loves a bit of Squirrel. He was the dad. He's dead and now, isn't he? He died, yeah. He died of a um, brain tumour. And it's really sad because this guy comes on, a really blown up face, really swollen face. You go, well, who's that? And it, it's Paul Ritter. It was the last appearance he did in this 10-year anniversary before he died. Yeah, yeah. my sad. dad anyway, had a um, brain tumour. Yeah. It's a very sad story. But I love it. If you haven't seen it, you've got to watch it, you know? Don't watch Moyes Ball. Watch Friday Night Dinner. I mean, I wish I could watch it from the beginning. It's one of those things. I could, you should just binge watch it. One weekend, start at Series 1 and watch the whole of Friday Night Dinner back to back. Um, Do you know, yeah. I think I started watching it, but... Um, you couldn't get into it. Co- no, it's just my concentration's well, not uh, Funny enough, though, it is the same joke over and 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 over again. You could say the same about the royal family. It's the same situation, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, um, right. um, Ed Hughes. <laughs> loves a bit of squirrel. Pack is back and so are the three points. A very happy hammer. Yeah. Zoom is still moving like Herman Munster. He is. True, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good good analogy. Well done. With Aguirre looking questionable, who else can partner Maver Well, Oggy. Oggy. Oggy, yeah. Oggy. Johnson, or is there another Oggy. youngster? No, I would put Oggy in there. Oggy showed he can still uh, no point be a having... reason. There's no point renewing his contract if you're not going to use yeah, him I in any situation. I really say. would put Oggy in there with, with um, Mavropanos. Yeah. No, Brady out. So we're back to level par Brady out. So everyone's been Brady out so far. Yeah, and uh, let's see if we've got any more. I think that's it. In this, well, that means everyone's Brady out. If that's it, oh, well, there you go. Uh, Let me do you, yeah. Sean Cronin. <laughs> Evening, gents. No question, Brady out. There, there you go. go. We counted that one. Oh, I said it. Whoops, you did say it. I was only repeating what it. Sean said. Let's just go through them. I think we're all done. I think we're all done. Not not bad. So uh, that I, I I told the missus, yeah, I just. Just half an hour, quick, quick yeah, podcast with Len. Yeah. Uh, obviously, an hour and a half later, eighty minutes in. Yeah, uh, and we're just it's about still done. this. But you know what? Look, we're, uh, that's our question time for tonight. And you know, we hope to be back tomorrow with Shedman. There might be 
well, there'll be at least two of us because it'll be a bit boring to have a one-way conversation. Nigel talking to self, which is not unheard of. Um, but yeah, hopefully two or three of us will be recording to talk about the game. But until then, uh, it's goodbye from me. Oh, it's goodbye. We're finishing. We are finishing because I've got my kids here tonight and uh, and I've been a bit antisocial. So uh, I, I did promise them I wouldn't be too long. We oh, are right, finishing. We, 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 yeah. we will. We've done an hour and a half, right? Yeah. We will talk again tomorrow. I promise then. Um, All right. I've been Sean. Len's been... Uh, I've been reading the questions out. Yeah, you have. Well done. And filling time. Yeah, well done. Come on, you irons. Bobby Moore. More than just a podcast. Bobby Moore. More than just a podcast. There you I'm go, make a great team, Sean. Oh, don't play that again. You, you, see him. you don't know how to fuck, you fucking wear jokes out. And he wasn't even funny the first time. He's fucking gone. He's fucking gone. He ain't leaving. He ain't leaving. Bye. Of course he is. Get your 100 knicker out. You're putting it that way, that's what I do, I win.